Oh no, two years fate, two years of real fate. How in the world is she gonna come up to Simone and say all that stuff about, hey sis, sis what? <laughs> sis what? You have been being very rude to her from the beginning and you've been hating. Now she got played of the weekend because she got interested in PKC. She sis. Okay. Hey, Melanie girl. It's nice to see you from Our Kind of People. That show was good. I hate that it didn't get renewed, but I'm happy it's just got her role. Thea doing something sneaky. I don't know what Thea doing, but Thea is being sneaky. And you seen Rome. That man is beautiful. But anyway, you seen Rome come over here talking about something. And if he don't clear you, what you gonna do? Mm -hmm. We also see Nate. Nico is still giving very much so trash vibes. But Nico is in love. I mean, Nico. Nate is in love. He ain't seeing it. So, that's that on that. And then, um, Simone tells Damon that she want to be part of something bigger. He tried to check her and was like, does that include Lindo? And Simone was like, uh-uh, not in my business. Don't try to be jealous, Damon. Don't do that. Because you got a girlfriend. Okay? You got a girlfriend. But Simone can read in between the lines. She just choosing to just move forward because he has a girlfriend also there is a scout there not a scout but a um, recruit there that is there to check out Princeton so Damon and JR have been the tags to given the tags to show the new recruit around campus so we're going to see how this goes um, not JRA's girlfriend giving us some own shade for coming late like she don't got other things to do but okay whatever anyway um, JR is being kind of strange towards Damon I mean I can understand why he didn't want Damon there because it's going to take all the attention away from what he's trying to do, I guess, because they want Damon because of his image, because he was an MLB recruit. Okay. Um, Thea talks to Damon about which method of treatment she should get, and she should just get cortisone shots. Girl, no ma'am. Mm-mm sports med major here no ma'am you're not fully healed that's not something that should be taken just yet you have to exhaust all your options and finish the best way to recuperate and to return to a sport is to let your body fully heal not letting your body fully heal has effects that may occur in the long term versus you know healing properly trust me as a former athlete I wish I would have did better by my body when I was younger, like in my high school and college years, because you know, as you age, those things can have a long-term effect. Um, also, yeah, Simone just need to go ahead and let PKZ go, because being in a sorority is not for everybody. I mean, kudos to those who do it, but you know, that was a path that I looked into when I was in college. And it's just like, some of them do things for the image and some of them do things for service. And like she said, it's just a hooding community, but sometimes it's not really like that all the time. And there was one more thing. Oh, Nico, Nico and Nate. <sighs> Nate, 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 Nate. <laughs> Oh, Nico is hot garbage. Nico is hot garbage. Garbage. Basura. La basura. Muy mal. <laughs> he, he couldn't even support Nate. Nate helped throw that good event. He over there hating from the corner. Auntie saw it. Auntie saw it over the head and that's just that's not cute that's not a cute look Nico that's not a cute look couldn't even be supportive I was here for that um all black event Nate threw because Nico's not getting no credit period of course like I said in the last clip something dramatic gotta happen for JR and Damon to talk JR told Damon he suck up all the air in the room and he don't even mean to do it which, you know, 
I can respect the honesty. I wouldn't say it's jealousy, but I'm just like, when Damon is in the room, nobody don't really get their own time to shine. I mean, when the recruit first got there, he was just like, yeah, I know you heard all the MLB, boo, 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 boo. Like, really, Damon? Really? Like, if you if you like that, if you cut like that, he already know who you are. Like, they get into a fight and the recruit side, he don't even want to go to the brinks no more because they both had the ugly, like, but of course they go and track him down because Coach Marcus puts fire under them and they decide to show him what Brinkston is really about. I miss JR and Simone having those little hard hard moments because they used to talk a lot first season. But now this season, they ain't had that much screen time together. So I'm just like, wow. And I understand completely what Simone is going through because as a person who play sports the whole lives when I got to college and I didn't play sports anymore and I decided not to play sports anymore I went down the sorority route looking for teammates that sisterhood bond but I did have to once I decided that great life wasn't for me I did turn back to the original group my Brinkston family you know so, yeah. Not the recruit dropping tea on Lando. Wait a minute now. Lando, that you were secretly recording practices to out Damon? <laughs> I wish Keisha was around and see Nate. I really do. But maybe next episode. Simone read the girl from PKZ and now she got an invite to join the, the sorority. Or the inter initial meeting. Initiate meeting. <sighs> the recruit kind of gave Damon words of wisdom as to why JR was acting the way he was. And Dave and JR made up, of course, like I said, in the two scenes prior. And use your words, is what they said. Auntie was there to catch Nate re Nico for filth because he is trash. And you shouldn't have to dim your, dim your light to be in a relationship with anybody. Period. Your partner should be an asset to you, not a takeaway. The recruit was all up in their business, okay? But I guess when you're trying to find what best suits you, you got to know the facts. I'm interested to see if he gonna pink Brinkston if they gonna keep up with his storyline and he gonna be there in the fall. But Lando, and then he missing this episode. Oh, okay. We gonna see how this goes. Mm-hmm. Rome is trying to set the up. Rome is trying to set the up. That girl gonna mess around and have a bad reaction to that stuff. The recruit don't want to go to Brinkston because Damon and JR don't know how to get along. Messing up the money. Y'all messing up the money. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if Melody lied to Simone, but Simone was in that room by herself. Dang, Simone. See, that's exactly what I be talking about. That's why I said what I said previously. Kudos to y'all who in the green life, but mm. um, I guess lately, your life has been so full of Damon. He wanted something for himself. That's exactly what it's looking like. But Damon don't see that. 
And of course, it's gonna take for them to do all this to have an actual conversation, you know. Something always dramatic gotta happen between Damon and JR for Damon and JR to have a heart to heart. <sighs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention Uncle Marcus. Uncle Marcus <laughs> Marcus wanted to talk to the recruits about the mental health program that brings the has. Because all of them keep asking him why he is no longer the head coach. But of course, Big JR was like, let's just keep it positive. He just never is in the right place at the right time. Like, he never has anything of substance to say. Like, he just never does. <sighs> and not Keisha Daddy getting jealous of Auntie being with Ralph. Ralph do want Auntie though, but still. She was like, I thought we'd keep this a secret. Y'all is too old to be tiptoeing around. Y'all too old. Y'all need to just go ahead, just if y'all in it, y'all together, y'all together. That's it. That's all. Period. Um, Cam is out of town, so I don't know what's up with Keisha and I guess Lando not gonna be in this episode because the baseball team is power on together and working out together and we can see him so I guess uh uh Simone that won't right I understand what you were saying about your personal lives being off business off limits but seeing as though Damon's trying to check you about Lando and you messing with him you clearly came up to Damon when Thea was being mean to you and was like, uh-uh, handle it. Thea is your teammate. Lando is his teammate. So what he did, I know he might have been doing that out of feelings for you, but you got involved in his personal life as well, regardless of whether he asked or not. He didn't ask you to get involved with Thea. He told you that he'd rather not be involved with you and Thea. And you was like, oh, no, but we're friends. We're friends, and you know what's going on is wrong. Same thing, Simone. Everything that Damon, everything you told Damon about Thea and the tennis girls is hearsay. But because he come up with you and tell you a recruit who went on tour at Hawkins, and the Hawkins players told him what Lando did who was a Hawkins player, so they would know. And you talking about his hearsay. Simone, you tripping. Damon tripping too. But Simone, that won't right. That won't right. So now, the two women in Damon's life basically is turning their back because Thea is taking quarters on shots. Instead of red shirting, she could get a whole nother year to play tennis when she's fully healed, she wanted to play. So we can already see how this is gonna go. Thea gonna take that quarter zone shot and mess up herself. And she might not be able to play tennis no more. We can already see it happening. It's already setting it up. What's tonight, the season finale? Mid-season finale for a homecoming? I don't know. It may have been, but it's just the fact like, Wow. Like, really? It was cool how they was all there for Nate. So they can get the family feel. And it was nice of them to introduce the recruit to everyone else. But that's crazy. Like, the whole thing was, like, I know Damon got feelings for you and you and you trying to do the right thing and stay in in your place but I feel like that whole thing with Lando and the whole thing with Jordan was two different situations he was in a relationship with Jordan you ain't in a relationship with neither one of them so he looking out for your best interest y'all it's finna get messy and then here she go telling him again we need distance but then when he gave you distance the first time 
you came back to him like, I need my friend. I need my friend. I need my friend. I don't know. Simone getting hard to read now. Because she says she wants a thing. But then it changes. And Damon is going according to whatever she wants for the most part all the time. He only really got mad at Simone one real time. And that was about, about the whole adoption thing. I don't know y'all what y'all think. That's my review. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back whenever episode 7 come on.